And we go back up the stairs. Looks like the guy needs Acadia to touch may it. not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but it means there's hope, right? I believe I have hey to you. Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Is there anything you care about? I mean, staying alive is preferable to not. Beyond that, what's the point of caring? Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. I'll take a look, sure. Let's do some business. Let's get a lot of ammo. What do you do with the 88mm Panzer Green 39? Anything interesting you can tell me about Acadia? God, no. Have you looked around this place? Death by boredom is a legitimate concern. So, come on. You want to do a little trading? I'll think about it. Ah, some other time then. That's New guy, right? Look, I'm not anybody worth talking to. My head is killing me. Now's not a good time. What's wrong? We're doing this anyway? Even after saying I don't want to talk? God. You try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? What do you mean, mind wipe? Oh, for fuck's sake. You're a synth on the run. You go to someone, you get a new face, and they wipe your mind so the Institute can't find you. Only somebody screwed mine up. <laughs> So here I am. I don't like her. Now just please leave me alone. Hey there. Need something? So what's your story? Me? <laughs> no story here. Not one that matters anyway. Like I said, it's not worth holding on to. Nice of you to ask though. Let me think it over. You know where to find me. Some other time, okay? Alright then. Hey, Dima. I hope you don't mind, but I had Chase shadow you. She saw you entering and leaving the nucleus. So, what was in my memory banks? Are we closer to resolving the conflict on this island peacefully? Your memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth. So you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. I... I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. I stripped a synth's identity from her and made her an agent. Why did you do it? I needed to calm Far Harbor. A moderate voice. An example of what humanity should be. How we could exist together as equals. But I couldn't live with the memories of the blood on my hands. A human and a synth are both gone because of me. Let's be practical. How do we proceed from here? You're right. We have to focus on what has to be done now. I'm starting to see things more clearly. We have to keep this secret from Far Harbor. If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. They'd come after Acadia, and then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. Everyone will die. I... have an idea. There's still a way we can bring peace. But the fact that I've replaced a human with a synth 
must remain hidden. So, you did all of that on your own? No one else in Acadia is involved? What I've done goes against all of our ideals. I even hid it from myself. So, no, there can't be anyone else. Make your case to the people of Far Harbor, Dima. Let them decide. And if their judgment is to destroy Acadia? The synths I've gathered here are innocent. I'm responsible for them being here. You really think Far Harbor will destroy Acadia if they find out? They were willing to kill the children of Atom for far less. Never mind then. Then you agree that Far Harbor must never know what happened? Keep your secret, Dima. Thank you. Maybe the... guilt... will keep me focused. As horrifying as it might be to suggest, this memory you've recovered has... given us a new option. If Far Harbor could be made more... tranquil by our intervention, then perhaps the same trick what? will work twice on the Children of Atom. We could replace High Confessor Tectus with someone willing to forgive Far Harbor and work towards reconciling. There must be another way we can make things right. None that I can see. The authority of the High Confessor is absolute. The Children of Atom won't see the need for peace unless he... changes his mind. If it means peace for the island... I can't believe I'm doing this. All right. Tell me the plan. This will be difficult for both of us, but I think it's our only option. I'll need you to leverage your access to the High Confessor and lure him to a secluded location. You should be able to find a spot in the Bay's old command center where you can deal with him discreetly and hide the remains. Once your work is done, return here and the replacement will move in and take command. Do we have to kill the High Confessor? It would be the most reliable way of dealing with him. But any method that removes Tectus from power indefinitely should work. You really think you can get together a convincing replacement? Yes. Helping synths recover what they've lost means we've had to become familiar with memory wipes and facial reconstruction. And I knew Tectus very well when I was still living in the submarine base. I'll use that as the basis for our replacement's new memories. You simply need to deal with the real Confessor Tectus while I... prepare a volunteer. Are the children gonna stand down just because this replacement tells them to? Dissent may arise, but the children have seen what happens to those who speak out. Our replacement will leverage that fear to serve the greater good. Okay, I'll do it. Any ideas on how I can get him alone? Tectus lives in fear of being usurped by his predecessor Martin. Despite that, in all likelihood, Martin is dead. But if you somehow uncovered evidence of Martin's imminent return, I expect Tectus would be interested hearing all you know in private. All we have to do is manufacture Martin's uprising. To do so, I'll need raw material. Martin recorded many of our conversations. Those in the nucleus have certainly been destroyed, but I built a small refuge for Martin many years ago when he needed respite from the family. Go there and collect any tapes you can find. I'll begin work on our replacement. And here, I want you to have this as well, for what you've done for us. I feel dirty. It won't let me confront him about the kill switch. Okay, so apparently you can't talk to Deem about anything else after you talk to him about Avery. Not like it matters, though. 
I've already chosen. I'm gonna be a blasphemer. I'm going to blow up the nucleus. Sorry, mother. I made my decision. Did you hear that? Hmm. I guess it was nothing. Caesar. I just said that wasn't a mini nuke. I wanted to send them to division. That was fun. Hmm, actually, I could have done the side quests and then. Killed them all, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, and uh, that was fun. Maybe someday more places in the world will 
accept us for who we are. Dima. I saw the atomic blast from here. Felt it shake the island. What have you done? For all of their faults, the children of Adam did not deserve nuclear annihilation. What about our plan to replace Tectus? I sacrificed one of my people for nothing. Why have you done this? I'm sorry, Dima, but it's done. They were too dangerous. So you sacrificed them? Was there no better way? They were misg... I... I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Have fun with that. That explosion. It was you, wasn't it? You used something in Dima's memories to destroy the children of Adam. They wanted to destroy Far Harbor. Acadia could have been next. So you killed them all? God, was that the only answer? Sorry, I... I know it must have... Hey, listen. So... When you first... I hurt Kenji and Ray by leaving, didn't I? Sure. Should I go back? They obviously still care about me. Or... Everything in Acadia has been... settled. I found my answers. You're right, Kasumi. They need you. Go home. I will. I'll start gathering my supplies and... I'll have to say goodbye to everyone. Thanks. For... everything. Maybe I'll... see you back in the Commonwealth? So since I killed off the children of Adam, what happens after that? Everyone, everyone, times are hard, but this here feast is proof that we can turn things around. Now I know mainlanders have been responsible for all manner of harm, but this one, it's that time. this one, did the captain's dance? It's true. I saw it. So in my book, he's not a mainlander anymore. He's one of us. Yeah! Mainlanders. <laughs> if these knuckleheads don't trust you now, well, fuck them, right? I expect folk will be more talkative now. Might even have some more work for you. Maybe hit up Mitch at the last plane. Seriously. Thank you. Thanks, Teddy. You are the most peculiar main person I've ever had the occasion to meet. Take this. Didn't he used to be and black? If you're inclined, socialize. It's your party after all. Hey. Here's to you. You take your time killing that trapper. Make it hurt. The way I've been hurting since I lost my Daniel. That trapper who killed your husband is dead. Then it's done. It's finally done. All those lives that were lost. All those debts finally repaid. And it was no son or daughter of Far Harbor who stood up to the island and avenged the Dalton bloodline. It was you. An outsider. A mainlander. The final chapter's been written. The story has come to an end. This is a day I never thought I'd live to see. Thank you. I was glad to help. I hope I've put your mind at ease. You certainly have. Now every good story's gotta have a happy ending, right? The hero finds the treasure, saves the sweetheart, and rides off into the sunset. Well, I'm a little old to leap up on a horse. But I have got something close to a treasure. This is an heirloom that's been in my family for 
There's no Daltons left to inherit the thing. So it might as well. Uh -huh. The island knows this weapon. Oh, yes. And that's it. That's the end. Off you go now. Sure. Here's to you. Hey, hey Captain Steve. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. And one arm stock. We're talking now. Tectus was many things, but I don't think he was that eager to meet his division. Why did you do it? Ultimately, it was a choice between you and them. Maybe putting aside all the bad blood was just a fairy tale. I hope their sacrifice will bring peace to the island. Otherwise, what you've done... Just leave. Cutting carapaces is a dirty job. The pay will be worth it. I got your Meyerler carapaces. Finally, it's done. Everything that can be welded, duct tape, or super glued to the damn docks, all there. Feels like I can finally sit a spell and relax. <sighs> Take this. It's well earned. What are you planning next? Been far too long since I've taken to the sea. It calls me, but that's for another day, Mainlander. Ooh. Um, I might stick around here a little longer and see if I can't figure out how to unlock the other settlements on the island. I think you have to keep doing quests for the people of Far Harbor to do that. Also, it's the Vim Power Armor. I've been debating whether or not to take that back to the Commonwealth to keep in my place for display purposes. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe there is a Nuka. Cola armor as well in Nuka World. I actually have a Funko Pop of one of those. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Get them while they're in stock. Hero of the hour. Wiped out all the children of Adam. <laughs> These caps are for you. And if you need anything, anything from my shop, you let me know. Yeah, I met a friend. I thought I'd like that. Show me what you got. Let's deal. Talk with Alan. I don't have time for you. Rude. If I remember, you two had a fusion core. Hey, Brooks. Stranger. 
You need odds, ends, junk, or knickknacks, you've come to the right place. Let's barter. Happily. Guns, guns, and more guns. Claymore. Deagle. This. Shotgun. Food. Stim packs. Fully stocked. If you ain't armed, you ain't long for this world. Buy my guns now. Buy my guns. Hi there. Mister, 
I have to talk to you. I got 14 and a half caps. I want to hire you. I'll bite. What's the job? Harbormen don't belong on this dock. If we keep clinging here, we'll bleed out and die. To get better, to grow stronger, we need land. Echo Lake Lumber Mill has power lines that connect to the old wind farm. If you clear the land, harbormen can wire up the condensers. Make it safe from the fog. How do you know all of this? My father was a mechanic. A good one. Before the fog took him. That's a surprisingly grown-up request. The fog's out to kill us all. Kids included. I know the money's a joke. But if my friends can resettle, I'm sure they'd do anything for you. And oh, you big. Please. Help. Need general supplies? Visit the place. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. What exactly do you need help with? We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Meyer Lurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. I'd hope not. What exactly are these fog condensers? How do they work? Well, I'm no engineer, but the way it was explained to me, each fog condenser pulls in the air around it and then condenses it into liquid. The point being, the fog doesn't get past them. They make a barrier that protects the town. No fog means that all the nasty things living in it stay in it. They don't venture out too often. The fogs are home, I guess. The fog condensers eat up a lot of power, but we've got a wind farm that takes care of that. As long as the turbines stay charged, we stay safe. Am I going to need any tools or parts if I have to make these repairs on my own? The fog condensers need their power modules replaced, but Howard took the only spares we had. Either way, you're going to have to find him first. All right, I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. All right, we got stuff to do. Looks like Howard didn't make it. I'll have to repair the fog condensers myself. Imagine that. Water supply won't last much longer. Those fog condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you find Howard? Is there a next of kin? If so, you should notify them. I should never have let him go out there alone. Well, I said it was paying work. 200 caps should be enough. Thanks. Glad I could help you out. That makes two of us. Now, here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. Harbor's safe as it's going to get. You ever get a gnawing in your belly to do something crazy? But reason and sense keep steering you clear? What's on your mind? You're the only mainlander I'd ever tell of this. So hear me out. The Red Death. May have heard of it. 
The big monster lives beneath the waves, only strikes when the fog is thick. People think it's some drunken sailor's tale, but no one goes sailing when there's a fog on. In their bones, they know there's something out there. Is there any evidence the Red Death is real? When I was a little one, I went sailing with my aunt. Fog rolled in thick and fast, and we saw it. Glowing red, crimson, an unholy light that stretched to the sky. My aunt was no fool. We rode to shore with all our might. Tide made it hard, but we hit landfall. Yeah, I suppose the Red Death could exist. Good. An open mind. With my business here done, and knowing someone like yourself, I seek to end this unholy terror. Dozens of boats over the long years been claimed by it. Godzilla. I mean to hunt this Red Death. Are you with me? How do we go about this hunt? No one's encountered the Red Death up close and lived. But many folk have seen its glow from afar. I've been collecting the details of those sightings for years. We take our boats, and I can get us there. I know it. But it could be the deadliest challenge we ever face. So I'll understand if you pass. What's in it for me? Listen, I've thrown every cap I have into the hull. I'm close to beggared defending the harbor. But anything you find on the Red Death is yours. I just want to put it down for good. Count me in. Bring whatever weapons of death and mass destruction you got. Meet by the docks. You take your boat, I'll take mine. This trip is going to test our metal more than anything. Mm. Do that now, front. do it later. Do it now, do it later. A bait shop. Mm, Let's go see if I can get Victoria's chest open first. Tip the balance of things in our favor. Excuse me. Did you need something? I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well... We've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. All right, I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any 
leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us. A synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Hi. Hey, you got a second? Word is you were asked to go check out some boat for Faraday. Here we go. Storage drives or something, right? Okay, I need you to come with me for a minute. We're gonna go have a little chat with Jewel, and if I know her, she's hiding out. Okay. Hey there, kiddo. I need you to tell our friend here what you told me. What the fuck, Cog? That was between us! Skip it, okay? He's here to help. Promise. Fine. I don't see the point. Alright, look. You know my head is messed up, right? Brain scrambled or whatever. I keep having these dreams. They're sort of like dreams, I guess, but... It's like they're more real. There's... God, this is so stupid. There's this boat, and <laughs> it's on fire, <laughs> and I hear screaming. I think it's me screaming, but, <laughs> but I can't be sure, <laughs> and that's it. What do you think it means? Fuck if I know. I thought it was just one more thing that got screwed up when I had my head wiped. Well, the boat was on fire. But, okay, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I found this key. I had it somewhere. It's fuzzy, but I swear it's connected. It means something. And Cog said he knows what, and he says you know too. So just take it and... I don't know. Fix this. <clears throat> so, you see why I wanted you to know about this, right? That boat Faraday wanted you to find, it's connected, right? Gotta be. Please tell me you're gonna go check it out. I'll make sure I take a thorough look. Thanks. I mean it. Just... If anything turns up, you come tell me. Not Jewel, okay? You and He's I can sort this nose. out. I'll be taking those. That was what I've been wanting to do. Maybe someday more places in the world will accept us for who we are.
never should have let Faraday talk me into this. If only I could resist that sweet face of his. It's easy, just steer the board and you'll be fine, he says. I swear if anything happens, he says he can fix me up if something goes wrong. Supposed to make me feel better, but actually makes me more nervous. What can I do? What can he do in that lab of his? He's very secretive. He won't even look at me like at the terminal. Hmm. I'll walk over there from the orphanage. It's probably another harbor. And there's a colony over here too. Jangles. Here. I say be jangles. Damn, the reds are right here. Delicious. Is a map of home. Hmm. Interesting. I might have to activate power on the island. I see. And what does this do? Extend a bridge? Eliza. Grandpa Pat was yelling in his sleep tonight. He's done it before, but this time it was so loud it woke me up. I saw Mom head over to make sure he's okay. Glad you remembered her coat. It looks like it's freezing out there. I heard her talking to Dad the other day about Grandpa moving in with us. I don't think I want him to. Nathan was out by the output pipes again over by Grandpa's. I was going to tell Mom, but he saw me looking at him when he came back to the house and told him he'd go back to bed. He always looks angry now. If I tell her about it, he'll only bully me more. <laughs> okay. Cranberry Island. Okay. Stephen were yelling at each other when they came home from morning chores. I do not know why, but I did hear Dad tell him that if he doesn't keep the pumps running, it'll mean more than just the pipe shutting down. Hmm. I wonder what the pipes do. My guess is they run water to a fusion plant further up the island. Yes. What am I supposed to do with all the 88 millimeter ammo? Like, it doesn't even register as ammo. It just registers as a miscellaneous item. be able to build a tank though. Can I do that? Can I build a tank? Oh. Mm. 
believe that was a wolf. Out there, we'll find them. Are you injured, sir? Okay, apparently this thing's not automatic. First, I got home from stacking the boxes of the dogs. Saw that Grandpa was sitting down on the porch yelling at the sky, saying things like they're gonna take our farm. We gotta stop them from tempering with our reels and generators. The harvest is coming up. July 23rd, 20, 23rd, <laughs> July 23rd, 2077. If Grandma was still around, her family didn't argue as much, and Grandpa, well, I miss her too. Berry bog. It is. is that these pumps pump the water in to the bogs. Seven dollars. I'm still so mad I can't use fishing rods. Can't harvest fish. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? 
from. Oh crap. Targets in range. And Cranberry Island. The deer hunt you. Fun fact, I believe Maine actually has the highest deer population density in the entire United States. If I remember right. In the entire country. Who's been snorting? Who's been doing jet on the job? We can tar berries to harvest. Alright, August 8th. Government goons. The whole farm's insured. Remember, we wrote the papers last month when we went to finalize your will. I asked Nathan what it meant for the farm to be insured. He said I shouldn't worry about it. It just means we're safe, and then I should be more excited about what's in Grandpa's will. I don't know what any of them are talking about. A mud crab. Tired of going tap 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 and tap. Obviously, I need to modify this to be automatic. No way to pick this. Oh, I need a key. Anything over here? Ah, number seven. Oh, this is gonna be the last one right here. Right before the bombs. <laughs> Bar Harbor. That's... Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's an idiot. Stupid of me. Far Harbor used to be Bar Harbor before the bombs dropped. And there, there actually is a real Bar Harbor. Just like Sanctuary Hills is now Sanctuary. Okay. We're just about to head to the mainland for a Halloween party. It's at Haley's house in Bar Harbor. Everyone's going to be there. June, Ellie, Emmy, Jade, and maybe even Gregory. Nathan was supposed to take me out. No, no one knows he's at. He's been gone a lot lately. Mom, going to take me, I think. Can't wait to write my... T oh, you poor child. Poor, poor child. You didn't make it. We did as much as we could carry. That was the day the bombs dropped. Hello. Door sealed shut. I guess I've got to First off I gotta find the key.
There's stuff down there. Light bulbs. Shed. Just creepy. How you doing, my dude? I've littered Bridget. I wish you were here to share this beautiful morning with me. I look forward to the day we are together once again. I will never forget you, Bridget. you monster. An albino. Huntress Island. specify where the generators are. Don't you think so, dog me? Uh -uh. Dead Trapper. Give me the 
fan, damn it. What you find, boy? Oh, good boy. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Ada. Mighty, mighty man, I'm young and I'm in my prime. Here we go. Suits. Key. Hmm. Eliza was in fact a child. Resources, so yes, more screws, springs, duct tape. And in case you're wondering, yes, I did use console commands to give myself more carry weight because screw that over encumbered bullshit. A 
did the same thing in Skyrim. Being over encumbered, especially when wearing power armor, is absolutely bullshit. And then after that, I'm probably gonna build up my new settlements here. And then probably go back to the Commonwealth. Give me the toothpaste, damn it. Save on top of that. Yeah. I wonder if there's anything special about that island. And I still want to check out what this harbor is. 